online video lecture series on electromagnetic waves. In the last sessions, we discussed about electric flux, electric flux density and electric field intensity, which means if I have a charge Q, it is an energy and it is going to emit its energy in all direction to attain equilibrium to attain equilibrium and if it is in all direction uniformly means it should be a spherical shape because spherical shape is the having maximum value with the minimum surface area it's a universal truth in the genre so if I ask you this particular electric field is it energy yes is it transferring the energy from charge yes can I go in the cassette? No. Then we call it as electric flux sign. And its density, it is per area if you calculate, it is nothing but density. And its strength is called the intensity. All these things we discussed. If I keep a small spherical surface, a spherical surface, then this charge Q, which emits electric flux, will pass through this particular surface. Am I right? Yes. And that will in turn get another charge Q to compensate this energy it should be minus Q. It's obvious because of the capacitance of it. So we conclude, if you have an inner core, a metal, outer core, a metal, inner with charge Q, outer with charge minus Q, the transfer of energy is in this particular quantity called the sign. Then, how much flux, flux means this particular sign, how much flux passing through this surface, it is due to the charge in this particular surface, closed in this particular surface. Then I ask you, can I have a charge Q which is outside? Can it influence this flux? No. The total flux passing through this surface is only due to the charge inside this particular surface, not outside. And this condition is applicable when it is a closed surface. Okay. Because a closed surface, you will get no leakage in that particular flux. So, this concept is nothing but Gauss law. So what is Gauss law? Let me give the definition. What is Gauss law? Electric flux to sign. With respect to the area is nothing but density. Electric flux passing through the closed surface is equal to the charge enclosed by that closed surface. This is the definition. That is the electric flux passing through the closed surface is equal to or is due to the charge enclosed by the closed surface. So what is this particular gas law says? Total flux is due to total charge. If you want to know total charge, yes, then calculate total flux. The total flux coming out from this particular surface. So it is something like this. There is a classroom. There is a lot of students are inside. The classroom is a closed one. Now I am just a faculty who is coming from outside. I am hearing a lot of sound. Is due to whom? Is due to the students inside the classroom. The students are the one who is creating the sound. The charge is like a student, the sound is like a flex. Total sound is due to total student. Total flex is due to total charge. So I am going to say. The flux in the area, so it is called the flux density, which is passing through a closed surface, is passing through a closed surface, say the surface integral, double integral, closed surface integral, is due to the charge enclosed by that closed surface. Okay, that's all. This is the gas law, nothing else. So this is all the gas law says. So since D is a vector and D is also a vector, we call it as a dot. So as per the Gauss law definition and as per the Gauss law statement, this is in terms of mathematical, okay, very important, you can please make a note of this. 
that is the total electric flux passing through the closed surface is due to the charge enclosed by the surface. Now through this, I am going to give a small conclusion. Let us take a closed surface, a small area called Ds. Since it is a surface area, that Ds will be d theta d phi because this is d phi and this is d theta but in order to get that particular meter square it should be r square sin theta which you discuss in the beginning of this particular uh, subject so let us say q is equal to uh, we know that uh, d is nothing but the psi divided by 4 pi r square a r factor that you should know and the flux is also passing through this particular closed surface perpendicular to a r cap. Even this also you should know from that particular cable we created. So it is doubly integral. Who is b psi divided by 4 by r square a r cap dot? Who is b is r square sin theta d theta d phi a r cap? Okay. And the limit one is for theta, one is for phi. Since it is a closed volume in the sphere. Theta is varying from 0 to pi, phi is varying from 0 to 2. Okay. So, this discussion we discussed in the electric field intensity uh, uh, Coulomb's lines. Right? So, you have 0 to pi, and if you rotate 0 to 2 pi, you get a sphere. Okay. That is what the discussion And you should know AR dot dot AR dot. Okay. So, AR cap dot AR cap will be 1 because of the dot products. A B cos theta, so same direction is the cos theta is 1, we know this. And R square is being cancelled, and who will be the remaining? Psi divided by 4 pi, integration 0 to 2 pi d phi, integration 0 to pi sin theta d theta. Okay, so this is for phi and this is for theta. Okay, if you do integration and get the answer, it will be 2 pi and it will be 2 psi divided by 4 getting cancelled, the result is psi that is equal to q. What is the conclusion? The total flux is equal to total charge. That's all the gas law says. What is the gas law says? Charge is responsible for flux. Charge is responsible for flux. Total flux is the equal to total charge. Okay. Can you make a note of that? Gas law for cylindrical system. The previous one, what we are taking is a point charge that is q. Now it is a cylindrical system which means let us take a wire who is having a charge density OL and you should know from our previous discussion it emits in all directions like this sphere okay definitely it is emitting in radial direction no flux will go up no flux will go down because it is an infinite length if you consider next if you take a cylindrical system so what is your gas law application here that's what I am going to this. So your Q is equal to integration, closed integration D dot D as you should know. And what is the particular closed integration before discussing? And you should know this is nothing but the radius of rho. And this is nothing but the angle phi. And this is nothing but the z axis. And right now let us take for example the length as L. Okay, just for example. So uh, if it emits in all direction, since it is a cylinder, it is having surface, top, bottom, okay, total, total surface, side surface, top surface, bottom surface. So I can split this into integration top surface plus integration side surface plus integration bottom surface. Combination of all is nothing but close to so anyway, if you take a closed surface, is a flat surface in the top, bottom, as well as the same. But as per my previous discussion, the electric flux is going in radially, which is through the side. No flux is going through the top and the bottom. Under that situation, this term will be zero, this term will be zero. It's understood. Then if you consider only the side surface, double integration, the d value dot d is so let us take a small area in that particular side and that particular area if I take it separately it is dz and this is d phi okay. so combination of that should be the area so it is d phi 
dz ye r cap or ye rho cap with the rho because that you should know in the table okay, ds uh, which is for the side and if you include q w integration 1 is for phi 0 to 2 by 1 is for z 0 to l because you are taking the l d it should be in a rho direction dot rho d phi dz a rho cap a rho dot a rho will be 1 and if you take rho outside integration 0 to l dz integration 0 to 2 pi d phi the final answer will be rho L 2 pi which is nothing but Q and Q. So through this we can analyze how much the charge is available inside this particular closed surface. Okay. So this is Gauss law application for a cylindrical system. Make a note. Electric field due to infinite time charge using Gauss law. Okay. Uh, we have discussed this whole uh, work as a derivation and uh, can you recall the answer was E is equal to rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon of rho A rho cap this we have discussed okay. and uh, it was electric field intensity due to infinite length charge the same work I am going to repeat the same work I am going to repeat same formula I am going to get using loss okay using loss nothing else so let us have an infinite line which is going from a minus infinity infinity where you are going to pass some current and that is going to give a line charge density rho here. Since it is emitting in all directions like a sphere, uh, sorry, like a cylinder, so let us take a closed surface as a cylinder. And since it is for a reference, you can take a length as L. Okay. So uh, it is similar to the previous application. And what is our gas loss is Q equal to integral d dot ds, which is a closed surface. Now, two simple substitutions I am going to do. Number one, Q is equal to integral rho L DLP nodes, which we have the relation between charge and the line charge density. Since the length is from 0 to L, if you integrate, you will get Q equal to rho L L. We should know. We can try to substitute this value here so the result will be rho L L equal to obviously it is double integration and you also know D is equal to epsilon naught E let us bring epsilon naught E dot which is a vector which is going in radial direction understood dot what is your D is it should be in this particular surface you know top and bottom will be zero we discussed in the previous issue so this will be D phi and this will be dz so it will be rho d phi dz where z is varying from 0 to l you have taken and the phi is varying from 0 to 2 okay. some two three simple substitutions I made the charge to relation I made d value I made ds value I made so rho l l equal to epsilon naught e rho integration dz which is 0 to l. Rho l l is equal to epsilon naught e rho 2 pi l. So this l will get cancelled. So finally I can say what is your e? e is an equal bring in this side. Rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon naught rho. That's all. Okay. So 2 pi epsilon naught rho everything will get into the denominator. And you know it is a vector which is going in radial direction. So it is we got the same answer. So the same result I will derive uh, using Gauss law. It is some, some like an application of Gauss law. Please make a note of it. Let us do one simple problem. In free space, let electric flux density D is equal to make a note 8xyz power 4 ax cap plus 4x square z power 4 a y cap plus 16 x square y z cube a z cap pico coulomb per meter square find flux passing through the rectangular surface 
can we be defined flux passing through which means they are asking side find flux passing through the rectangular surface z is equal to 2 0 less than x less than 2 1 less than y less than 3 in a z direction okay, so this is the uh, general statement so we are going to find out the side using class since you know q is equal to psi, I can say q is equal to integral d dot ds closed. I can also say this is psi. Nothing wrong because both are same. We have proved from the class. Now, the psi value equal to double integral. Who is a d? Let us substitute. A d x y z power 4 a x cap plus 4 a x square z power 4 a y cap. 16x square y z cube a z cap. Pick y is pending, don't forget. The who is ds? Okay, that is the question. Through this particular surface, which is variable 0 to 2 for x and 1 to 3 for y, in a z direction. So if you do ds in a z direction, dx dy a z cap, which we had in the table already, we have discussed. ds in a z direction means dx dy. So obviously x is the limit and y is the limit because dx is the They have even mentioned what is x is varying from 0 to 2, y is varying from 1 to 3. Now I am going to do just a dot product. What is ax dot az will be 0. What is ay dot az will be 0. az dot az will be 1. So if that is the case, psi is equal to double integration. 16x square y is in q, a z that a z will be 1, dx dy. Okay, this is the limit. If you take the independent term which is y, uh, which is z outside, 16 z cube outside, one is for x and x square dx, other is for y, y dy. Okay, so y is very from 1 to 3, x is very from just to substitute the limits 16 z cube and integration of x square x cube by 3 0 to 2 y is y square by 2 uh, 3 to 1 okay. so just to substitute upper limit and lower limit upper limit and lower limit and even z value is 2 which is given and you should not forget that it is pico okay, it is mentioned so the final answer if you do and the result you should get 1.365 nano coulomb. Okay, please uh, try to do it yourself and try to get this particular action. With this, uh, let us conclude uh, this session which discuss about Gauss law uh, and for the uh, surface area and the infinite length. Action, okay. In the next session, we will discuss about the divergence and the Maxwell's equation from divergence here. Okay. Thank you.